Here are the enhancements to CamWorks 2016 Interactive Feature Recognition. On this part, we would want to rough out these areas going through the part. In previous versions of CamWorks, we would have to create a separate SOLIDWORKS sketch to define our pocket features. Now, in CamWorks 2016, we allow for the selection of non-planar edges and faces to define the features. Here is how this works. I will insert a new 2.5 axis pocket feature as part of this mill part setup. To define this feature, I will select the edges just below the top fillet. As I select these edges, these green lines represent the closed contour of the feature. The red line represents a join segment, which closes the contour automatically. Also, as I select these edges, notice the selection box in the new 2.5 axis feature property manager. If the entity listed is in bold font, then it is part of a valid profile. If it is not bold, then it means the profile isn't valid. Below the selection box, it tells us how many valid profiles there are. In this case, we have one valid profile. Now that I have selected all of the edges, I can define the end condition of my 2.5 axis pocket feature. Note that the depth of the closed contour would have been a problem in prior releases as it would have represented either the start depth or the end depth of the feature. Now, in CamWorks 2016, we have the ability to define two end conditions. For this first one, I will select the top face. For the second, I will go up to stock and complete the feature. In addition to being able to select non-planar edges, we can also use vertical and non-planar faces to define 2.5 axis feature geometry. I will insert a new feature and select these vertical faces to define my contour. As I come to this face, I do not need to select it because the join edge will automatically complete my closed contour. I can now go ahead and define my end conditions. For this next example, we will insert a new slot feature in this area. I will define the contour of my feature using these faces and fillets and set the end condition as up to face. Now I will edit the profiles to define the open air segments. New in CamWorks 2016, we are now able to shift and control select these segments to redefine them as open air. Also new in CamWorks 2016, open air segments are now displayed as dashed lines instead of solid lines. Now we will examine some of the edge selection enhancements. Take a look at these pockets for example. In previous versions of CamWorks, we would need to select each edge in the graphics area. New in CamWorks 2016, we have implemented some selection techniques to make this easier. On this pocket, the edges can be more easily selected by using the shift key. I will select this first edge here, then hold down the shift key and select this other edge on the other side of the gap. The rest of the edges are selected between the two selections. I will finish defining this pocket. Here is how this works. Make the selection of the edge, hold down shift, and then select the second entity, and the smallest number of entities between those two selections will automatically be selected. In this case, the fillet between the two straight edges is selected. If I do the same thing, but hold down the control key instead, the greater number of entities will be selected. And you can see that it selects the edges around the pocket. Thank you for watching this video on the new features of CamWorks 2016 Interactive Feature Recognition.
available to review, we have allowed for the selection of non-planar faces and edges to define two and a half axis geometry with a join segment to automatically create a closed contour. There is now a second end condition allowing us to define a feature depth in two directions. Shift select and control select to change segments to open air and open air segments are now displayed as dotted lines. Edge selection has also been enhanced using Shift Select and Control Select.